in the next few sessions maybe the next two or three mini video lectures i shall be talking about computer software and hardware just hardware but just software is not really useful to get anything done the software as well as the hardware are required in order to get anything done from a computer so generally when you talk about the word computer two things will always follow you all your life one is something called as computer hardware and one is something called as computer software if you ask me in simple words what is hardware computer hardware is your electronic circuitry like your motherboard your scanners your printers your mouse your keyboard your cpu your memory these are all examples of computer hardware now when you take a look at software software is divided into three parts three major divisions one is something called as system software an example of which is your operating system the next is application software an example of which can be your ms word microsoft excel and so on and the third class of software is something known as software utilities in software utilities an example of it could be your antivirus software your software to clean your hard disk these are all examples of software utilities these three aspects system software application software and software utilities will be discussed separately in a video now first let's try to understand what is hardware and software hardware is all the electronic circuitry or electronic computer components of a computer software is programs plus data now what is programs programs is a series of instructions so let me tell you what is an instruction let's say i want to find the sum of two numbers let's say they i call them as a and b so first i'll ask the user read a or enter the value of a then i'll tell him enter the value of b then i'll say sum is a plus b so read a read b sum is a plus b these are all example of instructions to get something done a series of instructions in the right order to achieve certain things like for example to find the sum of two numbers constitutes a program now you if you write just the instructions and if the user does not give in the values for a and b like say 10 and 20 to give me the result of the sum as 30 then it's of no use so software is both a combination of instructions and data so when you combine instructions along with data then you are able to produce meaningful work for yourself and get some things done now the other important aspect of software is hardware is just like a physical device on its own it can't do in anything until the software instructs it guides it and tells it to do something so you can think of software as something which controls and manages the hardware components or gets things done from the hardware components now let me give you some example of software example of software could be your antivirus software like your norton antivirus the avira antivirus the kaspersky antivirus your google chrome browser the internet explorer the firefox browser your windows operating system your linux operating system these are all examples of software now let's try to further understand the relationship between hardware and software a lot of times people in electronics will say hardware is really important computer science guys will say software is important but the fact is both are required in order to get something done so the computer on its own just the physical device just the hardware is of no use now in order to have anything done the hardware requires a software software is a series of instructions a group of meaningful instructions constitute a program and data is used to get things done from the hardware now i have already told you what is a program a program is a sequence of instructions organized in a particular manner in a logical fashion which when executed results in the solution of a certain problem so a simple instruction could be sum is a plus b that is an example of instruction but the entire set of instructions to get the sum of two numbers constitutes a program 
So you could write a program in C, C++, Java, whichever language you are comfortable with. So the process of writing a program is called as programming. The person who writes the computer software or the program is referred to as programmers and programmers use a number of different languages to get their things done. So I again have told you examples of computer software include MS Windows, Linux and so on. Windows and Linux are special kind of software called as the operating system which we will be having an entire video lecture on them. Now before we try to proceed ahead let's try to understand how the hardware looks and what are the popular items of hardware we shall be frequently talking. So this is an example of hardware components. This is your motherboard where your CPU is placed and all the hardware components reside on this particular, they get connected by this particular board. All right. Now, what we shall try to do is using this particular diagram, let's try to identify some of the common components of a computer hardware. So if you look at item number one, it says it's starting with a scanner. Item number two is your CPU. That means it's the central processing unit, which is also the major hardware component of your machine. Three stands for computer memory. So these are all examples of memory. Then suppose you want to add additional cards, like suppose you want to get a better display, suppose you want to add more memory, then you get it done through something called as expansion cards. This is an example of power supply unit. You can have your DVD-ROM, that's why it's called it as optical disk drive. This is an example of your hard disk. This fellow eighth, it's not actually shown here. This entire thing or this flow is an example of your motherboard. Speakers, monitors, system software. The example of a system software is Microsoft Windows Linux. We'll be talking about in detail. Example of application software. If you have written software to manage your library, that's an example of application software. Keyboard. Then you have your mouse. Then external hard drive. Okay, you may want to have an external hard disk like this. So if you need additional capacity, you can use an external hard drive. And last is the printer. So this are just some of the common hardware components which you need to be familiar with. Now, a lot of times during your Viva, you're asked what is hardware and what is software? So a lot of times students try to answer, sir, hardware is something we can see. Software is things we cannot see. If you answer like that, you will get marks which you cannot see. So please do not answer it in that particular manner. So computer hardware represents the physical electronic circuitry of a computer. Okay. Generally they can be seen and touched, but that's not the answer you should give. So they refer to physical and tangible components. Examples of computer hardware are input devices like keyboard, mouse, scanner, Example of hardware is output devices like printer, monitor, etc. Then your example of hardware could be your storage devices like hard disk, DVD-ROM, CD-ROMs and so on. Examples of hardware could be your internal components like your central processing unit which is shown here, your motherboard and your main memory also known as RAM. So I hope this clarified your understanding of what is computer software and a brief idea of what is computer hardware.